Welcome to the Bearded Welshman's channel. I am John, your host, where everyone is welcome and no one is turned away. Yep, I pride myself on that. Boswell's best coffee. Black, of course. Those cups are available. I'll put the link below. Thank you to everybody that's recently uh, subscribed to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Um, more than you, you ever know. I try to comment on everybody's stuff. It's kind of hard to do when you're busy with other things, but life is good. Also, thank you to my brother, uh, Ed, in Texas. Thewoodsmanshop.com. Uh, the Woodsman Shop official on Instagram. I'll have the link below to him. He helps with this channel. Let me turn my phone off. He helps with this channel and he, you know, made this wonderful uh, pecan, Texas pecan. Sorry, you're going to hear the sports game over at the high school. And this is Great, great tamper and scraper. So I was down in Virginia for two days. I went down Wednesday and came back Friday. Uh, I got home Friday late afternoon for my eBay business, and uh, which is doing very well. Thank you very much um, to all those that wish me well. Check out the eBay store and everything. It's doing phenomenally well which is great. I've had to uh, find other work because I can't drive truck anymore. And uh, this is doing really well. So it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, they had what was called the 100 mile yard sale. Started in Amherst, Virginia. I think it was just above Lynchburg and runs all the way down into North Carolina. And I went to Lynchburg and then went south to the border of North Carolina and Virginia and worked my way back up. And I found I got some really good stuff from my eBay store. Anybody know what these are? <laughs> Vintage Tupperware. Ketchup and mustard dispensers. I got two sets. One with the lids. One without. Bought a lot of stuff. Bought a lot of stuff down there. Had a, had a good time. Um, it's the fourth quarter. And Christmas is coming. And I have been busy. I Selling and selling and selling. I mean, I'm... I'm mailing stuff out pretty much daily now. And I'm not complaining. I am very thankful for that. Because all that money goes into the business, pays all the overhead, and then I can collect a check. So it's really good. So I'm really thankful. So if you watch and you've bought, thank you very much. Um, we're up pretty high in subscribers, like I said. Again, thank you. I cannot thank you enough. And then I came back and Saturday I went yard sailing again to get some more stuff. And then I got connections. When you're in business, and I've been in business before, it's all about relationships. It's all about building relationships and making good connections. <laughs> And I've made some good relationships and made some great connections and I'm getting access to some wonderful product at very good prices because of it. And that's what I'm doing. So check out the store. It'll be in the description box below. I do returns on all my items. 
If you're not satisfied, I will give you your money back. And that's just the way I work. That's how I work. I mean, you have to when you're in business. You're, you're in the people business. And you're in the retail business and you're selling products. So it's not what I'm here to do tonight, though. Anyhow, I just wanted to share with you a little bit about how well that's going. And that's going really well. So this is my favorite time of year. I love fall. Fall is perfect for this right here. Today was the warmest day of the whole week. And right now, when I get up and come out and have my coffee and pipe, in the morning, it's still dark, and it's great. And for some reason, it is just so much better on the cool mornings. It's the perfect time of year to smoke a pipe. This is my Graybo. This was restored by TBI, Mark. Thank you, Mark. And these Graybos, well, this is vintage one, right? Red Dot, Medico, I think it is. These, and I got one from Arizona Gym. It's real nice. I have, I have more Graybo pipes right now than I do any other brand combined. Okay, so I have four Boswell pipes. I have five, six Graybos. And the rest are just pipes and uh, of course my beloved Svenborg which I was using this morning but I felt like this Graybo pipe tonight so it's a good pipe it's a great time of year I love fall I'm not looking forward to the frigid cold temperatures but hey we make do and I picked up this at a yard sale. Look at that. <laughs> Onion. Onion would be proud. It's a Coleman lantern. So one of the really dark nights. There you go. See? Yep. Onion would be proud. But... It's nice to just be able to relax. You know, though I work from home and I do what I do as an eBay reseller, um, I work all day, every day, five days a week, sometimes six. It depends on what's going on. And I'm constantly pulling stuff up in the evening to ship out the next morning. So um, it's nice to just get a moment, come out on the porch. And have a break and drink some coffee smoke a pipe and I thank you all that have been watching the channel um, I'm more grateful to you than you know uh, I get a lot of views. I get a lot of watch time on this channel. As a matter of fact, I just got an attaboy from YouTube about having so many I don't know, views or whatever. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't really pay attention to it unless they bring it to my attention. And uh, apparently, I must be doing something. I don't know. So, uh, thank you. I hope we continue to grow. I'd like it to be more than just about this. I'd like it to be about everything else, but I am also a guy that I get on here a lot and get philosophical. And uh, we used to call it philosophize. We go philosophizing out on the back stoop at work when I work on the ambulance. Everybody go out and smoke their cigarettes, and I go out, chew my snuff, and we philosophize. That's what we called it. Solving the world's problems. <laughs> So the leaves are just starting to turn. I guess they'll peak near the end of the month. I think it's what they're calling for around here. But my big oak tree, the one that's left, it's been dropping leaves since September. So I've been piling them up, piling them up over 
uh, in the section of the yard over by the road because this year they're going to come around and they're going to collect all the leaves. I don't have to get rid of them down at uh, the township mulch pile where you take all your brush and stuff. I, I can just sweep them out or blow them out with a blower out onto the road and then they're going to come by this year and they're going to scoop them up, which is very nice. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And my Japanese maple, my big beautiful Japanese maple. I don't know what's going on with that this year, but um, usually around this time of the year, it's really nice deep red. In the spring and in the fall, it's like a deep red. In the spring, it had a nice deep red color, and this fall, it's it's already dying. You know, going to sleep for the winter. And I'm pretty sure, I think I know what it what, what it is, is we, uh, we've had rain, but it's not an inch here or an inch two or two there. It's been five, six inches at a time. It's just a deluge at one time and the water runs off and it has no time to soak down through. It's not a, a uh, just a consistent, steady soaking rain. It's just a deluge and it's just, our streams have flooded over numerous times on roads in the past month and a half maybe two months and that's not been good for the plants it's not been good for the trees that's why my trees started dropping leaves already usually it's around October when it starts it's a little early this year and all of a sudden the, the stink bugs are bad I mean they're just out of control today I was up on the roof and they were just flying into my face into my hair, I mean, in my beard, they were in my beard, and it's just, I was like, that's it, I was doing some patchwork up there, and I was like, that's it, I'm done, I'm out, can't do this anymore, came up off the roof, and they're just all over the screen windows, and lantern flies, don't see them, take a 30 minute trip, go across the river, there goes the train, and uh, they're everywhere, everywhere, Hershey Park was crazy, we were there a couple weeks ago for the big RV show, and it was crazy, I mean, they were literally sweeping up piles of them. And they tell you to kill them when you see them. So people were constantly killing these lantern flies. They're beautiful to look at, but they're very destructive. And uh, so we were killing them right along with everybody else. <laughs> they're, they're beautiful to look at, like I said, but man, they're just they're very destructive. The trees and plants and stuff and they're just not good. Our mums are coming in that we transplanted last year from the baskets. They grew huge and now they're starting to bloom which is good. We like that. We like that a lot. It's been a good week. It was a good relaxing week. The weekend is over. Tomorrow's another start of a work week. It's good to see Beans 316. Brian's doing really good. Him and his family. So thankful they made it through the COVID okay. And it's just been a wonderful week. So I'm going to finish up my coffee. and ask you nicely to get off my porch and I'll see you on the next video God bless God loves you I love you light them up